You're watching ABC, and this is 28 Tampa Bay News with Marty Tucker, Brendan McLaughlin, meteorologist Wayne Shattuck, and Jay Crawford Sports. The movie is called The Prophet. It was written and produced and shot entirely in Tampa Bay. And while there's no mention of the Church of Scientology, there are some similarities. Kelly Swoop joins us now with a story you'll see only on 28. Well, the story was written and directed by a man that's a former Scientologist. Now, the names and dates and locations have been changed, but the storyline is familiar. And it actually leaves you wondering how much is fact and how much is fiction. For the first time in my life, I was on the verge of crashing my way into the distance. In the movie The Prophet, Leland Conrad Powers did make history, much like L. Ron Hubbard, the man who started the Church of Scientology. In the movie, Scientology was never mentioned. It was scientific spiritualism and the story of Powers' life from 1945 to 1995. I was in Scientology for 20 years. Peter Alexander wrote and directed the film. I found out the truth about it, and when I did, I thought, oh man, you know, I gotta make up because I gave these guys a million bucks in 20 years. That's my donations. So I have to make up for, for doing that by telling the truth about, you know, how these cults kick you over and what they do. Yes, there is a chance for mankind. While it's just a fictional account, former Scientologists say there are similarities. I mean, obviously the guy was a con artist. He got a hold of little tidbits of information, of something that he could use to, to control people. Officials with the church said the movie has nothing to do with us. They are telling lies that are nothing but publicity stunts to manufacture interest in a very bad movie. Everybody is subject to mind control. And this film shows you exactly what happens to those who are subject to it. But the church suggests a few name changes for the movie. No hope for profit, a lack of profit, or the non-profit. Now, they haven't gotten the film distributed yet, but they have received a few offers, they tell me. The director hopes to have it in Tampa Bay theaters by this September. Marty? All right, thanks, Kelly. So far, the movie has been shown at the Cannes Film Festival and also in Leipzig, Germany.